Hey, my name is Karen Thomas, and today I'm going to walk you through a quick and easy tutorial on how to set up a new product listing on Seller Central. So let's begin. The first thing you need to do is to log into your Amazon Seller Central account. Then you're going to go to the Inventory tab and you're going to select Add a Product from the drop down menu. Then you're going to click on Create a New Product Listing. So for the example today, I'm going to use a water misting fan and I'm going to put the product title right here in the product name field. And then you don't need to worry about the package quantity. For the manufacturer, just put your brand. So in this example, it's O2 Cool. Don't need to worry about the model number or the part number. The brand name, I'm going to put O2 Cool again. Not going to worry about the size or the size map. Color, I'll put blue. I'm not going to worry about the color map or the exemption reason. The product ID field is where you're going to put your UPC barcode number. So I'm going to enter that in now and I'm going to select UPC. So I have this first tab filled out. Okay, and then for the variations tab, if you have several variations of your product, and you're going to enter it here. So if I had several different colors of this same water misting fan, then I would choose a theme of color. If I had a variation of different quantities, let's say I had a pack of two, another pack of four, then a pack of eight, I would choose the package quantity. And if I have both package quantity and color, I would choose that. Okay, in this field for the import designation, you can say made in the USA, or you can say imported. For this field, I'm gonna leave it blank, as well as for country as labeled, I'm not gonna worry about those two, or the restock date. I'm just gonna leave these fields blank. The condition, I'm gonna select new. The price, I'm gonna say 13.97. Not gonna worry about fulfillment latency. So, if you have your product fulfilled by Amazon, make sure that this is selected. I want Amazon to ship and provide customer service for my items if they sell. If it is fulfilled by merchant, then make sure to select this top one. I want to ship this item myself to the customer if it sells. So FBA, just make sure this bottom one is selected. Okay, so we have the offer tab filled out, images. We'll just use a quick example. We're just going to choose a file and just use these very low quality images I took real quick using my phone. You can import a total of nine images and I highly suggest doing that. Images are really powerful so make the most of your images. But for this example I just showed you a few quick images I'm going to put in there. Okay, and then in the description field, this is where you're going to put your product description and each of your bullet points. So the product description, let's just use a funny quick example. Again, I wouldn't really say this if this were my listing. This is just to show you a quick example. So the key product features are your bullet points and you can add up to five. So I'll just copy and paste the bullet points here. Okay, so we have the description section filled out. Then for keywords, just ignore the platinum keywords. Target audience, that's a great place to say who you're trying to target. So let's say for this example we're targeting adults. And then in the search term field, this is a great place to add as many relevant keywords and phrases into the back end of your listing. And so you can add tons of different keywords. Then you can list other attributes. So I'm just going to use portable, intended use, for travel. So we have filled out this keyword section. So in the more detail section, I'm going to not worry about the shipping weight. I do need to say that batteries are required for this product. And then the only crucial thing to put on this tab is the item dimensions, the length and height and width. Okay, so after I fill out all of the information I can in each of these tabs, then I am finished and I am ready to save and finish and my product will be ready to go live on Amazon.